everybody. Ow. We're going to Epcot today. It's Sarah's last day in the parks. Sadness. Um, but we're going to Epcot and we're going to spend most of our time in the World Showcase. We're going to try snacking around the world and drinking around the world. Sarah's going to drink around the world and I'm going to sip around the world. So I'm going to take a sip of hers. So that should be fun. And the quality of this video might be a little different because I don't have a backpack. I just only brought my phone to record with and my magic band. So we'll see. See you in Mexico. That's where we're going first. The World Showcase has just opened and we are in Mexico. Somewhere we're very familiar with. What did you just say, Sarah? Nothing. <coughs> you said something. My nose is sweaty. You've got the nose sweats. Something about tequila and eleven. No. <laughs> La vida antigua. I think Sarah beelined it for some alcoholic beverage. But I'm filming the inside of this Mexico pavilion. Otherwise, it's just going to be a video of Sarah getting progressively drunk. And here's like a little marketplace where people who were actually from Mexico sell handmade wares because that's kind of like what the World Showcase is all about. Filming on my phone today, so you get what you get quality wise. Uh oh, what happened? They open at noon. They open at noon for the for the tequila. I don't know what to do. Get these sets me back. Well, we can come back but to people... Mexico. And do what? Get beer? I can't drink beer before liquor. Beer Never before been liquor. Sicker. Never been sicker. Ooh, keychains and magnets. Can't see them. It's really dark in here. I'm gonna show them the volcano and then we'll figure out what to do. how cute these are. Maybe we need to go on a trip to Mexico. Hey, go Broncos. <laughs> are you guys from Denver? No, we're from California. Oh, okay. Nice. All my family's in We're actually eating at this restaurant later, aren't we? I didn't make reservations. Oh, never mind. We're not eating there. So I thought we were eating it. Alright, so our first stop. Oh. To like your way, yeah. So, we're getting approached by lots of Coloradans. Colorado bread. Anyway, this is our first snack. We're, we're starting in Mex We're starting in Mexico, and this is actually breakfast for Dennis, so that's why it's so big. The rest of our snacks are gonna be smaller. So this is what? Nachos. Just meat, not is that carne prepared in a certain way? It just says nachos. Just says nachos. I'm gonna guess that's probably carne al pastor. That's what it looks like. I got myself a jarrito piña, which is pineapple soda from Refresco Sabor Natural, which is a natural soda from Mexico. Sarah got chips and guac, and water, and sangria. I didn't buy that water. Oh, that's Dennis my water. water. This is her water. So I got sangria. Try that sangria, babe. Tell everyone how it is. 
Mmm, tasty. Is it really? Yeah, want some? Sure. Yeah. Cheers, That's everyone. Good. good sangria. Mmm, that is good sangria. I really like it. You should try some. Alright, we're going to enjoy. Viva Mexico! Now, we're in Norway. Try this thing called school bread. That's the original delicacy. Look at this. Viking chocolate. Yes. What else do you guys want? So the school bread is like famous in Norway. It's like their main dessert. So that's what we're gonna try today. It's more like a bakery. Alright. It's recording. Okay, this is called Aquavit. And it's from Norway and it tastes like ass. But we're gonna drink it anyway. It's it's a it's a liquor, right? Hard liquor. That's like when you accidentally get perfume in your mouth. <laughs> This is, yeah, it's show, yeah, so it's, this is Sarah's yeah. shot. She's doing the rest of it. I am. Oh man, it's like when you accidentally get earbuds in your mouth. No, that's never happened. Yeah. That's never happened to you? Sarah, your bangs are doing the thing you don't like. I know. They have to be over to this side though. They need to have the fullness. Yeah. They like long videos. Don't you guys? I don't know if they can hear us though. There she goes. Alright. I had to. Aqua bit from Norway. It's not burning. It's actually not that bad. Well, wait, we have to try the school bread on camera too. School bread from Norway. Mm. Mm. They say it's really yummy. Is it cold with cream or just like cream? I have no, I've never had this. I just know everyone says you have to try it. <clears throat> All them Disney folks. Keep this out. It has cream in the middle too. Yeah. Alright, here we go. It's supposed to be really good. It's very good, and it's not overly sweet. I was expecting it to taste like a donut, but it's not. Right, it's savory and sweet. Alright guys, the school bread was awesome. This is Norway. Welcome to Norway. Only in Disney can you travel around the world and drink and eat around the world and kiss around the world. All in a day. Come on, let's go. This guy right here is my friend. Yep, his name's Bob. Bye, Bob. Now, we are entering China. Is this where they have that tea slushy thing? This is where they have a, t a green tea slushy that I want to try. What's the drink of China, Sarah? She's not sure yet. She needs to sober up for the sangria. No, no, it's that Joy of Tea place. There's the Joy of Tea. You want to find a bathroom? We need to find a bathroom in China because Norway didn't have one. I 
think plum wine and some other plum wine. wine. Nine Dragons Restaurant. Oh, that's this. This is really pretty normally. The main pretty place is all boarded up, which sucks. But you know, you can't always get what you want. You're in Disney World. We had so. a bunch of terracotta soldiers here last time I was here. Oh, we missed out on the terracotta soldiers. Well, I don't know. They might they might still be in there. Look, no, it's dirty. dirty. Gertrude Zessen. It's a good, it flows off the top. All right, I'll check in when we have our snack and drink. So we got our China drinks. What's that called, Sarah? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, what's in it? Cantaloupe juice and vodka. Cantaloupe juice and vodka, is it good? It's really good, try it, mm -hmm. seriously. It's deceptively good. Mmm, it's good. That's a yummy cantaloupe drink. I got a strawberry oolong tea slushy. Let me try it. Mmm. My slushy is really good too. Kind of reminds me of something I ate growing up. Some candy we had growing up? Tastes like that strawberry candy. What's That's hard candy. Like it's chewy in the middle. Oh yeah. It's okay. It's a little sweet for me. What do you yeah. think of it? Uh, it's a little sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go find my man. I think he said he went into the shop. Still in China. These remind me of my uncle Arlie. So what do you think of the strawberry oolong slush? It's good. He likes it. So this is Africa, but it's not officially a pavilion because Africa was going to have a pavilion, but then they didn't um, fulfill like some requirement. Norway is not going to have a pavilion anymore, right? Maybe they shouldn't have had the Aquavit. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it's here, but it's not like an official pavilion. This is Germany, people. I think we're having pretzels in Germany. I really like Epcot's World Showcase. It's fun. We're hanging out in Germany still. Sarah got a pretzel we're all snacking on. And she got grapefruit beer, which I think tastes good. Do you like the grapefruit beer? Do you? Yeah. I'm a little drunk. She's a little bit drunk though, so we're taking a break. A little drunk. We're gonna have to so, take a break. See you in a bit. This is a little like model town in the Germany pavilion. It's quite cute. There's a train that goes around. There's the train. Look, Matthew, Matthew, you don't want to run. Can we go by you? The red train! Oh, this one. It went under me. Very cute. Watch out, man. Now, we're in Italy. And Sarah's feeling a little bit better. <laughs> go, Sarah! Go, Sarah! <laughs> She's feeling good. <laughs> nice jig, Sarah.
White girls can dance. Uh, some hungry here. Principessa. It's like, it's like a sangria, but it's not. Uh, Principessa. It starts with Here's more of Italy, guys. travel and I would say that it does. I agree. So Sarah got a shot of Sambuco. We tried a little bit. Cheers everyone. We still haven't picked out a snack. Oh that tastes like black licorice. That's, That's good. good. Yeah, it's good, but it's wrong. <laughs> I thought you were getting a wine drink. They don't have it. They don't have it right now. Oh. What are you doing, girl? Hey, boys, hey guys, I missed her taking her shot, but she just took it. Good? Bad news guys, there's no snacks in Italy. It's just drinking or like sitting down and eating a bunch of food. So no Ital Italian snacks. Our next place is America, so that should be fun. <laughs> All right, people. We've moved on from Italy and now we're in good old America. A Serica. A Fly on the eagle's wings <laughs> through the sky. I can't hear a head, so you can either have a daiquiri or a beer. So look, the American snacks are donuts, muffins, and pastry. Um, but like, also, where is the bathroom? It's a good question. Did you see the American snacks? It's funny. They're donuts, like Homer Simpson donuts. And then here's funnel cake. And popcorn. Hello. Go Broncos. Go Broncos. You run right over those Patriots. Yeah. Yes. So, Patriots. Vocal ensemble is called the Voices of Liberty. Going to the bathroom. There's the Liberty Inn, which is a restaurant with American food like turkey legs and popcorn. People are very happy that the Broncos beat the Steelers, and people are very excited at the prospect of us beating the Patriots. We're gonna go on that American adventure. I really don't know if you guys can hear me because it's loud here. And I can't lose Sarah because she's been drinking. They're singing Newsies. Seize the day. Am I supposed to feel patriotic right now? So the booze of America is either a daiquiri or a beer, and Dennis is going to drink most of it and just only let Sarah have a sip because that's the responsible thing to do. Alright, that's a little preview of America. We are about to experience a show called The American Adventure. The American Adventure. 
hosted by Ben Franklin and Mark Twain. If I can film in there, I'll try. This theater for the American Adventure is really grand. These statues, the prototypes for these statues, are on display in the Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln. At this time, please turn off all the from one of America's great writers. Hello, Dr. Franklin. I don't recall writing anything like that. Oh, my. Of course not. They're from the pen of John Steinbeck, back in the 20th century. Why, it seems he has nearly the same spirit as the founding fathers themselves. Well, listen to the proud elder statesman. Mr. Twain, pride is one of our national passions. Even those who overcome it are proud of their humility. <laughs> there was no filming in there, so I, I only filmed a little bit. America, spread your golden wings. Sail on freedom's wind. Cross the sky. That was certainly very elaborate and big. And I fell asleep with my head down. That's why I was snoring. If you're, pa if you're patriotic, it was sentimental. The set pieces are the coolest part about that. They have a lot of animatronics. And Sarah Benjamin fell asleep. Franklin and Mark Twain. Then I fell asleep. Yeah, Sarah slept and snored through the whole thing. Doesn't get any more American than that. We're in Japan now. We spent a lot of time in America. Okay, you know what? I'd rather not want to do that. It was what I had have you shown you Japan before? Maybe? Uh, you're gonna just see everything you've already seen again, if so. I mean, I can only be so diverse, right? later but my phone is like dying. So Sarah's Japanese drink is hot sake. I've had so hot sake. I've never had it. Huh? Sips around the world. Cheers. It's hot it's hot palm wine. Really? Wait, you're not gonna drink around the world if you don't even have a sip. Uh, all right. All right. We're still in Japan. There's all these Japanese snacks. <laughs> Morocco. Do you have coffee and food stuff? I can't drink it anymore. I have a savory crepe in France, but I'm going to eat here too. It smells good. I'm hungry. <laughs> Morocco. You want falafel? What's the drink of oh Morocco? Knows, I can't drink anything hot. So we tried this Japanese. Hot's not good. I went hot down, and it came back right back up. Our oh, Japanese. it came up? It went down, it came right back up. Up and out? <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh my gosh. It tried to come up, but I didn't. You guys are trying to speak <laughs> to my camera. <laughs> this is our Japanese candy. Oh, this is a rice candy. That's our snack. Sarah had hot sake, which you saw. Oh, we have one. two. It didn't go well. Hurry up. My phone's gonna die. I remember my mom. I'm gonna get some food. Dennis and I are sharing chicken shawarma platter, and, and Sarah's having a habibi daiquiri. It's strawberry. It's a strawberry, strawberry daiquiri. You Muslims, like Muslims don't drink alcohol. I'm gonna try it to drink around the world. I asked the guy, and he's like, "Oh yeah." 
It's good. Habibi daiquiri. It's good. This is France, which I've already shown you, and I barely have any room on my phone left, so I'm not gonna like go cra into crazy detail. Sarah's getting a drink, and we're getting crepes, and I'll show you our crepe, and I'll show you Sarah's drink, and that's like all you get for France. But I can film it on another day, and I think I maybe already have filmed it too. That is good. Thanks. So this I'm is sorry. the it's Grey, Grey Goose and Citron. <laughs> Does it have an official name? It's it's Grey Goose and Citron. Citron and Grey Goose. That is good. A drink it's in like France. Like a lemonade vodka. We have three so more good. countries to go. Like Two one. after this. Two after this. Okay. Two. Now we're getting crepes. Let's try it. Here's my chocolate crepe. Straight from Paris. And Dennis got a strawberry crepe. The guy that made it spoke French to me and it was very beautiful sounding but I didn't understand what he said. But that's all right, because I'm in Epcot, and I said, mercy. Why'd you roll your eyes at me? Oh. All right, Dennis, hurry up and try it, because I'm almost out of room. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Meow. Yeah, I'm gonna, let me do mine. This chocolate this is where it's at. Chocolate. Yummy. We're in England again. I'll show you what we get. All right, second to last drink, black and tan. Thank God. From the pub. Guinness. So my British snack is Jaffa cakes. It says ten spongy cakes with that squishy orange center. So we'll see. I can't have those. Sarah can't have one because it's not vegan. There's orange in the middle and chocolate on top. Making a weird face. It's like chocolate orange. It's like a stale wafer with orange and chocolate. It's not good. Boo. Boo. And here we are in Canada again. The final <gasps> frontier. The final snack, the final drink. And we've eat and Ooh. drinking drunk around the world. Everywhere. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, our last snack around the world, the croissant donut. Here, Dennis, film me trying it for our viewers. It's very flaky looking. That's very good. Bye. All right, guys, the last of the video for today. We've made it on this journey. This is an oatmeal stout no. straight from Canada. Sarah's really drunk, but she accomplished her goal. I'm gonna try it. Hmm, that's good. Ugh, no it's not. It's a oh. bad aftertaste. No, oh, it's good. Oh, so, no it's not. We all successfully ate, drank, and nibbled around the world. And we also, Dennis and I also kissed around the world. What was that? And that's all we did. And now we're going to go back to the room so that we can get some work done and Sarah can sleep it off. Bye! I don't know what we're doing tomorrow or if there'll be a video. Bye.